Hey there, Aaron, be the person that Sonny's focusing on. Okay, that's yeah. well, rolling so, now anyway, so yeah. we're ready to go. So, we're just going to, you know, chat to Phil about what it was like, and he'll ask you questions if he feels. I'll intervene as well if you need to. I don't know yeah. what questions are. Well, starting with what... what what does it feel like? Oh, what has it been like? Well, what about her? Um, we, we work in, in yep. the nature of your work? Yeah. Can I say that? Yeah. Okay, I work for the University of Otago Language Centre. I have worked for this company for uh, since 2002. Um, I started as a part-timer because my children were still at home and I was a part-time mum. I uh, have only ever had either casual contracts or fixed term contracts for a term or a variable hours contract until very recently. Um, uncertainty in the job is a very difficult thing. It has become a very difficult thing. When I first started um, it's more um, acceptable because when you're new in a company you know that you want to uh, do your best, you have to prove yourself, you work hard, you go the extra mile. Um, and I've been waiting for this to have some kind of an effect in terms of more secure employment. Um, but it hasn't happened. And this uncertainty, the longer um, I, I worked there, the, the more it has affected me in terms of well, having to cope with that kind of uncertainty, not just um, will I have work next term, how much work will I have, will I be able to pay my bills, pay my rent, uh, pay the mortgage, um, but also am I a good enough teacher? What is the reason why I don't have um, a more secure employment? Um, and that kind of uncertainty can gnaw at your self-confidence. And that's, that's been a very difficult thing because I know I'm a good teacher. I know that within myself and I know that because my students perform well, my students tell me a lot. I get a lot of very positive student feedback. I work well with my colleagues and I get feedback from them. My boss, my manager um, appreciates me very much and yet I am not securely employed. Um, long term, that's a, that's a heavy thing to carry around because um, I have had cause to think, should I look for another job? Should I, should I go elsewhere? Why does my employer not appreciate me? Um, and I have to add that throughout these 17 years, there have only been, I think, two instances when there was either no work or reduced work from the hours that I asked for. So over all these years, I've been employed um, mostly for the hours that I wanted to work. And to me, that proves by itself that I should be a permanently employed teacher because um, that's what it proves, right? And yet, a permanent contract has not been forthcoming. And so that's, you know, you go from hopeful to waiting to becoming a little bit bitter and a little bit negative because I'm asking myself, am I working for a bad employer? That's a very, very compelling story. Mm -hmm.